Welcome back to redheart.com as well as the crochet crowd. I'm your host Mikey and in today's tutorial we're going to explore this stitch. This is called the front post treble crochet square. Now this particular stitch is really interesting because in actual fact you're not doing um, the front post on every particular row. You're doing it every other one. And in fact if I was just to pop it up like this you will see this yellow. See how it's jumping all over this pink and going into the second row of the pink. So this just proves to you that you're actually going every other row. So this one is a really interesting pattern because you can actually speed along really good. So in one row you're just going to do some single crochets just to build up the height but they but the next one then you're going to do the front post trebles. So without further ado let's get started on today's pattern. There there will be a more information link within the video for you in order to access this free pattern. So let's get started. I want to create a slip knot. So you'll notice in the pattern that it calls for a 3.75 millimeter or a size F crochet hook. In the stitch creation afghan I use a size 5 millimeter size I and then for tutorial reasons I'm using a 6 millimeter um, crochet hook. I'm also using a uh, red heart super saver. So without further ado I've created my slip knot. Let's chain 36. So remember that this first one never counts as one. So one, two, three, four and five. Now please chain all the way to 36 and when we come back we'll start the next layer. So I now have my 36 on here and it says to uh, use the back loop and single crochet all the way across. So we have to go second chain from the hook. So you see the first one, second, just turn the chain over and on the second one just grab the back loop only. Once you do that the rest of the chain will just naturally turn over on itself and so then you can see then the back loops are then available to you. Just simply using the back loops, see how the next one is just right up in, in your face like so. You can really easily access it once you get it and then what happens is on the bottom you have the most perfect looking uh, edge. So please single crochet all the way across for all of your chains. Okay I've come all the way across and now I'm ready to turn my work. So you'll notice in the pattern it's actually very easy. So it says a ch chain three so we're just going to start in chain three, one, two, and three. And in the rules of double crochet, that is a double crochet. So that just equals. And we're going to come to the very first stitch right here. And we're going to double crochet uh, across each one of the stitches. So you're thinking, okay, well that's really not the front post treble. And what I'm telling you here is that you can't just immediately start trebling. You have, to, or the front post stuff, you have to have a basis, right? You have to have a foundation. So in order to do so, you have to um, create the layers first before you can even do, think about that. So when we uh, just do this, what's going to happen is that when we start to do the trebling effect, it's going to be playing with these particular rows, but not quite at this time. So it's just one of those ones you just have to think ahead and realize that you have to prepare. It's like a house. You have to put the bricks on before you can enjoy your house if you have a brick house of course. So continue to double crochet all the way across. Okay I'm coming up all the way to the end and interestingly enough I was kind of reading the pattern ahead anyway because that's what I have to do. Um, but anyway what I was thinking is that the next uh, layer we're still not doing the front post treble. Can you believe that? And uh, I can believe it because I've kind of know what's happening on this one. But here's what we have so far. So we have a layer of singles. We have a layer of doubles, a double crochet. But we're not yet ready to do the front post stuff because we have to put another layer of single crochet in. So let's uh, turn our work and we're now going to chain one and just simply just single crochet in each stitch all the way across again. So the front post treble starts on the next row. So essentially what's going to happen is that we needed this double to already be there and what's going to happen is that when you uh, do a front post in one of these it's going to lift it up anyway. So this is why it has to be there. This is your foundation. So then this um, single crochet that I'm doing right now has to be in the middle to create that, that gapping and then it's the next one that's really going to start to see everything. So you really can get off to a really easy start with uh, four rows of of just uh, getting the foundation before you really even have to think about the front post treble crochet but you're going to love this stitch regardless. So let's uh, get to the end of the line and let's get you started on front post stuff right after that. I'm just coming all the way to the end. Don't forget about that last chaining of three that you started with because if you don't get it then what it's going to happen is that you're going to be out of balance. So make sure you do go into the chain of the final or you'll be a stitch short. So this is what it looks like right now without any of your trebles going into effect. Let's turn our work and let's read the instructions together. It says chain three. So let's just do it. So chain three, one, 
two, three and it says double crochet into the next single crochet. So we're just gonna double into the next stitch available. Now what is it saying? It's saying to front post treble around each or the next two stitches. So to do that we have to come down and we're going to come down all the way down here. Okay, so we're gonna skip right over top of everything. So let's uh, begin. So we're gonna wrap and wrap, okay, and come down to this double. Okay, just straight down, grab and um, go through the side of the post, pull through, then pull through two, two, and two. Okay, and it's said to do that for two. Is that right? That's right. So we're gonna wrap and wrap, going into the next post, okay, from the side, going through, and then pull through two, two, and two. And now what did the instructions say? It says each of the rows below double crochet into the next two single crochets. So we're going to come back here and we're looking. So you can either skip two here or you can just mentally look at it and say okay well if that's up then this must be it. See if I pull it, it is it. So we're going to double crochet into the next two. Okay, and then what does the instruction say? Okay, so we just have our double crochets in and now it says to do front post treble crochet into the next two. So again, not here, but we're gonna look down. Just look straight down and that's where you're gonna go. Okay, so if you really look at it here, if you have two stitches here and you're skipping over two, then see this is where it's attached for the other front post. So basically you should just look over and just kind of buy it up. My whole thing is you gotta wrap it before you do it. But the whole thing is that you have to know what to look for and when you can look for that then you can, don't have to worry about counting so much. So we're gonna do two front post treble crochet. And then what do the instructions say now? Okay so as per the instructions now we're going to double crochet into the next two. Okay. And essentially this one here is not a traditional pattern where it's like two double crochets, two front post um, trebles. It's not working that way. Near the center it changes slightly. So let's uh, just front post treble crochet again into the next two that are available. And wrap and wrap into the next one. Okay and then doubles into the next two. Okay, so we have three layers that you can see that are popping out. So one, two, three. And now the game plan is going to change slightly. So, so what we're going that to there's such thing as that too. So wrap and wrap and uh, front post treble into the next two. Wrap and wrap. Just like that. Now you're going to treble into the, or you're going to double crochet into the next one. So it's just gonna be by itself. Okay, so now what we're going to do is you have your one double crochet in and so you're gonna front post treble the next one by itself. So you're not gonna do two in a row, you're just gonna do the one and then you're gonna double again. Okay, so it's just gonna stand up by itself and so you're at the middle of the square at this point so you should have one, two, three and four and then a single, single, single. And now we're going to go back and repeat this same going back in the other direction. So we're going to put and the next one is front post trebles for two in a row. So once you get by that middle piece it's all pretty easy as far as counting and stuff. The advantage to this as well is that once you establish the pattern it's really easy to maintain. So we're going to put two doubles into the next or one double into the next two and then two front post trebles into the next two. So basically once you have this established as I was just trying to say is that it's very easy to tell where the stitches are. These create a solid line in the vertical direction and basically you just have to follow the line up when you're working on it. So now I have my two fronts in. I'm gonna two doubles again and then again I'm gonna do the next two is the front post trebles. Okay, next two are by themselves. So they're two doubles on their own. Okay, the next two are front posts and this will take you to all the way across. 
So you can use these kind of stitches virtually anywhere you want to as long as you can have the base to start off with. And then basically the way that we started off with just like you see over here you had two uh, doubles in first. So the chaining of three counts is one then you had one on its own and again you have two stitches left here. So then that means that the final two are just a double crochet in order to keep it in balance. Just like so. So this is what it's looking like at this point. You really can't tell that it's that uh, dramatic yet but it will in the next few uh, rows going up. Okay let's turn our work and so then this row is our easy row. This is the one that you can breathe easy on. We're just going to chain up one and then single crochet into each one all the way across. So this is creating the gapping space that you need in order to create that that effect of the front post trebles that you're creating. So please just single crochet all the way across on your project and when we come back we're going to do front posts again but it's going to be a lot easier this time and I'll show you why. So I'm coming up all the way to the other side and just for kicks I'm going to change the color because I can. So I'm just going to finish my final stitch just like so and I want to fasten off the pink or the red and I want to move to a primary blue kind of idea. And I'm going to bring that on for my next trick. Okay. So I'm just going to pull this up and like this and weave in my ends at this point into the stitches like this. This will be the only time I'm actually showing you how to change color in this particular um, project today. And so if I change colors at any point further on in this uh, tutorial this is how I'm doing it. So I'm just weaving it in. Easier to weave it in now than it is to wait later. And what happens is that you when you go to work on your next uh, row up this will all get trapped into position and I would trim that after uh, all is said and done. So let's uh, turn our work at this point and we're going to start again. So I'm just going to create a slip knot with the blue and we want to create exactly what we have. So if you did not change color you would be at the top of this anyway and if you're changing color like I just did you just need to join it back into the top. So you just have to wrap it around, pull it through like so. Okay and then there you go. So it's I've already done one chain I have to do a total of three. So one, uh, so two and three. Okay so and I would leave this blue down on top of the line. So we want to match exactly what we have going on here. So you can read all those instructions or you can just simply follow along. You're going to double crochet into the first. Do you see how these two are raised? That means that you're just following exactly what you see. Okay. So if you're following exactly what you see you got the one in now you have two front posts here. So you're going to wrap and wrap and then come into the same post. Okay and just go all the way back up. So pull through two. So wrap and wrap coming into the next post. See how easy that is? You just got to look. So you know that you have two that are just sitting regularly. So you're just going to double crochet. Okay and then the next one you got your front post again. So wrap and wrap going into the other post that's down there. Wrap and wrap. And you do that all the way across. I'm just going to move that to the back. So you have two doubles by themselves. So there's really not hard. You can do entire afghans with the stitch using the same concept. It's really quite neat and you just have to kind of follow the what's in the rows below in order to create a really interesting effect just like you see. So if you're following this in stitchcation just follow the instructions until you get to the uh, height that you need. The number of rows completed and you can just simply count them or you can just follow the pattern along and then apply your border and you are good to go. And if you are doing stitchcation you are going to need two squares but this tutorial today is primarily just to show you how to do these effects so that you can use them somewhere else in the future. Until next time I'm Mikey on behalf of RedHeart.com as well as the Crochet Crowd. We'll see you.